Hello, Joker Stella's back. I am feeling good today. I am feeling ready to style my hair, basically. Yes, thank you. The hair color has really grown on me. I've received some less than pleasant comments about it, but I'll be honest, I really like it. Look at it. It's so, you know, it's vibrant. It's like villain hair. If Disney wants to buy the rights to my hair formula, they can, look. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Stella and I do really, really weird things to my hair. Today is no exception, except today we're not really doing weird things. Today we're going educational, which we should do sometimes. I have pretty short hair. Um, for the most part, I love it. It's got a lot of vibe. It's got a lot of sass. It's healthy for the first time in, pretty, in a pretty long time because I chopped off all the bleached ends. For the most part, this is kind of how I style it. Sometimes it looks okay. Sometimes I look like Willy Wonka. Recently, I've been digging a bit of volume. I feel like the past few years it's been all about like the sleek, sleek hair look. But now I feel like a lot of that like previous or like 90s volume is coming back, especially in the forms of blowouts and different hairstyles and stuff like that. Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to get the best at home blowout on yourself on short hair. So today I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I blow out my hair relatively straight but with quite a bit of volume because we're fancy people, we deserve the volume. If we're gonna be doing a blowout, we're going to need the assistance of a hair dryer. That's pretty standard. Which also makes me super super excited for today's sponsor. Oh my god, wait, you are not ready. You are, none of you are ready. Okay, today's collaboration is with Mattis. It is an electronics company. It has very, very innovative, really, really epic products on there that you can buy. One of which is this beast of a hair dryer. The Mattis M12X Pro Supersonic Leafless Hair Dryer. Oh my god, I feel like I'm one of those like, um, review channels that's like that like reviews all the latest gadgets and thus compares and contrasts it's it's fun it's really fun today i'm going to be showing you how i get the best at home blowout with this incredible hair dryer obviously any hair dryer will work but this one's cool <laughs> let me show you it comes with a really cool velvet sleeve pouch whatever so that you can travel with your hair dryer and keep it safe which i dig i respect that and then lo and behold <laughs> i don't know what sound that was oh my god oh my god so this is the matus 12x pro supersonic leafless hair dryer salon level at home hair dryer super gorgeous super sleek and it is incredible oh my god so it has a similar concept to the dyson hair dryer with a few different touches it feels incredible to grab so like in terms of different hair dryers um they they don't really look like this they don't feel like this and typically they're very heavy. I've, I've gotten my fair share of hair dryers throughout my salon years. I've used the standard ones. This one feels very different to that and also has a completely different design. It is a leafless hair dryer, which means it is blowing out negative ions, which means it dries the hair faster, it reduces frizz, it protects the hair oh my god and leaves less tangles basically it is just a ton of benefits and best of all in my opinion it's green <laughs> Hi. it's got three heat settings and three speed settings and this is how you turn it on it's not plugged in though at the moment as you could see it is so gorgeous it is so so just minimalist and beautiful and it's just got a sleek sleek design it also comes with three different nozzles smooth nozzle which is great to just dry the hair very very quickly styling nozzle which allows more airflow and is better to style your hair when you're actually blow drying it and a diffuser for getting the perfect curl as you can see it's got a pretty long cord which is amazing again if you are working in a salon but 
if you're at home as well. My favorite thing about this, however, with magnets. Oh my God, this means that it takes quite a bit of force to actually take this down and there's no, you don't, you don't have to press anything onto anything, it's just magnet. I'm gonna link it below in the event that you want to check it out, feel free to check it out. And yeah, let's try it out. I just read the user manual and you're meant to clean out the air filter and I was like, where is this air filter? Let's wash our hair. Joker still is here again. Okay, so I've actually gone ahead and applied all of my leave-in products. I'm gonna leave that up to you to figure out what those are for you. Now we're going to start with a blast dry where you dry your hair pretty much 80% of the way until it is just very, very slightly damp. This is going to really aid in actually blow drying the hair, leaving just that 20% of wetness on your hair to do the actual like drying in place sort of a thing. Let's plug this bad boy in. As you can see, it's still very, it's not a loud hair dryer. It's almost like it's also tuning down itself. And it switches off so elegant. Oh my God. I'm gonna go with a level one setting on the heat in i.e. the co coldest. Basically, I want to get rid of as much of the wetness quickly as I can, but I don't really want to introduce any unnecessary heat because the drying is gonna get rid of all the wetness anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Blast dry it 80% and then get, basically get it ready for the actual styling part. Today I'm going to be using this one. It's pretty much a standard sized brush, round brush. Um, it's going to be big enough to give us volume, but not large enough to like not be able to access different parts of our hair. Obviously, because this is short hair, we have to consider the fact that the hair has to be long enough to wrap around the brush. Otherwise, if it's too short, most probably we're not gonna be doing any styling. Then I'm gonna be using these tiny little pins to make sure no other hair gets in the way of our styling. Then I'm gonna be putting on the larger nozzle size. And basically, the way we are going to be styling our hair, we're not gonna bring any of our hair forward because as you can see, it's too short. To bring it forward, we're gonna bring everything back. Oh yeah. Use our neck as a guiding post and collect all the hair onto the brush and then we're going to aim the nozzle onto it and pull down like so. Follow along with me, let's do this. Also, my setting is gonna be on the second heat setting full strength setting. Again, we don't want to introduce too much heat. It's pretty standard why. First section is done. As you can see, I went kind of for like a bubble effect because we're going for volume.
Look at this bubble effect we got going on. The larger the brush, the larger the bubble. <laughs> The more you elevate the hair, the more it's going to create volume because you're taking it away from that very straight sort of a formation. Oh my god, I'm in love. Now this section I'm actually going to do a bit differently in the sense that I'm going to separate a section from the back section mm. and I'm going to blow dry it backwards so we get that sort of a thing. Let me show you. Now for the very final two sections that we are going to do, we're going to blow dry it all forward. To seal it all in, I'm going to go in with a serum. You could do any serum oil finishing spray of your choice. I just like to do this to add a fine little bit of shine and get rid of any frizziness. And there you have it, the perfect at-home blowout for short hair. Oh my god! Hello! Hi! Can you see this body? I absolutely love a big bouncy blowout. I'll be honest, it's a recent favorite because PVC I used to love a like super straight hair thing, but like, mm-mm. Hi. I don't know why I'm shocked because I, okay, I worked for this. This is literally the end result that I was going for, but still, <gasps> hello, hello volume, hello movement, hello body. So that is how to get the perfect at-home blowout for you. Please, please give it a go. It takes a while to like kind of understand how to really do it, but once you get the hang of it, it's going to be a lifesaver. Not to mention that this thing probably took me 10 minutes to do. This thing did such a fantastic job. It was such an easy thing to use. As I was doing this, usually my biggest complaint is that I literally stretch my arms out so much and it hurts because they're heavy. But this thing is so lightweight. It's lightweight, it's easy to maneuver and you get a good idea of how to like move it.
because it's ergonomic as heck. If you want, I'm going to be linking it down below if you do want to try it out, if you're maybe in need of a new hair dryer, if you want to try out some new innovative product, look it up, it is fantastic, it works like a charm. I love you. I really hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a go and I will see you in my next video. I feel good. Yes.